All right, some example problems for you. First, let's start with the basic one on angular size. I place an ant which is one millimeter long, a distance of 25 centimeters from my eye to get the best look at it that I can. What is the angular size of the ant? Well, let's see, so here's my eye. And here's the ant over here. And it's one millimeter. Let's just call that H for now. H is one millimeter. The distance away, we'll call that P. Um, it's 25 centimeters, right? And so if I look at this ant here, let's actually put the ant up here and draw a line like that. Then I have a triangle, right? And the ant is one side of the triangle. This distance 25 centimeters is the other side. And I want to know that angle theta. Well, theta, what's theta? Well, the tangent of theta is just the height divided by the distance. So that would just be h over p, which means then that theta is equal to the arc tangent of h over p. All right, so that's going to be the arc tangent of uh, one millimeter divided by 25 centimeters, which is 250 millimeters. All right. And what's that equal to? Well, let's pull up Python from math import. Hmm. Then I can do a tangent of 1 divided by 250. And we get 0.00399, so about the three significant digits. This is going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 10 to the minus 3 radians. All right. Notice if I just take 1 divided by 250, it's almost the same thing. So it turns out for really small angles, the arc tangent of a really small number gives me that same number approximately in radians. So for small, small theta, small, let's say small x, arc tangent of x is about equal to x in radians. All right, if I wanted this to be in degrees, if I wanted to know the angular size in degrees, I just take my answer, I have 1 divided by 250, I multiply it by 180 divided by pi, right? We know about that. So 0 0.229 degrees. So 0 0.229 degrees. There we go. So that's what we mean when we say angular size. I just draw a triangle. Here's my thing I'm looking at. Here's how far away it is. Angular size. Now, I look through a lens with a focal length of negative 10 centimeters at an ant, which is one millimeter long. The ant is a distance 25, uh, 25 centimeters from the lens. Um, that should be the lens. What is the angular size of the ant? So now what we're doing is we're saying, look, I'm going to put a lens. Um, and I didn't really say ba -ba 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 -ba, how far away the lens was from your eye, did I? So let's just assume I told you that the lens was right up to your eye. OK? Didn't define that in the problem. Whoops. And then we've got an ant over here, which is one millimeter and it's a distance of 25 centimeters from the lens. The lens has a focal length of negative 10 centimeters. All right. Well, the first thing I got to do is I'm not when I look through the lens, I don't see this angular size right here because I don't see the object. I see the image. Right. So where's the image? Well, one over F is one over P plus one over Q. So Q is equal to one over F minus one over P to the negative one. Right. And so I can figure that out. Pull up Python here. We said that f is minus 10 centimeters. 1 divided by minus 10 centimeters. Um, and a distance of 25 centimeters. So p is 25 centimeters. Raise that all to minus 1 power. All right, so q is negative 7.14. All right? Negative 7.14, I'm going to keep all the digits. I'm assigning that to a variable so we don't get round off, right? If I just write down negative, negative 7.14 centimeters, I've lost all of these digits, and round off error is going to compound. So I'm going to save that as a variable in my calculator, and we'll use the full digits, all right? 
And then to find the angular size, um, theta is just the arctangent of the height of my thing, which is, oh, I need to know what the height is, right? Is it one millimeter? Hmm, I don't know. When we did uh, magnifying glass, uh, probably saw that, anyway, just never mind. What is the size here? It's going to be the magnification times the height, and then the distance is going to be negative q, right? Because q is negative, it's out there. So the angular size I'm seeing, I'm seeing this image, which is some distance out here, negative q, but the image is going to be a different height because of the magnification, right? And what is the magnification? The magnification is negative q over p. And I multiply that by height, and then here I've got negative q. Oh, and just as we saw in the lecture when we were doing the magnifying glass, our negative q's cancel out. And it turns out the angular size just is the arctangent of h over the distance of the ant from the lens, right? When we did magnifying glass, we said wherever our image is, it's like on that same line. Turns out to be the same thing. But the whole point of this exercise was I figure out how far my eye is from the image, the size of the image, and I plug that in and take the inverse tangent of it, and I get my answer, right? So in this case, I can just say arc tangent of the height is one millimeter, and P was 25. Oh, it's going to be the same size. But, uh, it turns out to be the same size because the object was the same distance from my eye. I put my lens here, I made an image, and the height, the size of the image changed in proportion to the distance the image moved away, if that makes sense. All right? In your homework, you're going to do something a little more crazy. You're going to actually move your eye away from the optic, so you're going to add in some extra stuff. But the basic idea here is just take the size of the thing you're looking at, in this case an image, divide it by how far away it is from your eye, and then you take the inverse tangent to that to get the angular size. And remember that for small angles, the inverse tangent is about equal to the, the tangent of a small angle is about equal to that angle in radians. Okay, magnifying glass. So I have a magnifying glass with a length of four centimeters, focal length of four centimeters. What is the angular magnification if I put the image at my near point? What is the angular magnification if I put it at infinity? Well, the angular magnification, if we put it at our near point, remember we found in the lecture it's just 25 centimeters over f plus 1. So if I put the image at my near point, my magnification is just going to be 25 centimeters divided by 4 centimeters plus 1. So it's going to be 25 divided by 4 plus 1, which is 7.25. All right? If I put the magnification, if I put the image at infinity, all right, if I adjust my magnifying glass to make an image at infinity, then we just drop the 1. And that then is just going to be 6.25. All right, so just plug it into that equation we found in the video lecture. Okay, here's another problem for you. I have a compound microscope with an angular magnification of 200. Okay, it's actually negative 200, but they didn't write the minus sign on the box it came in for some reason. They never do that. All right, okay. The microscope is 25 centimeters long and has an eyepiece with a focal length of 2 centimeters. What's the focal length of the objective? Well, as you recall from the lecture, the magnification of a compound microscope is minus 25 centimeters times the length of the microscope divided by the focal length of the objective, the eyepiece times the focal length of the objective. So we know the length and we know the focal length of the eyepiece. We want to find the objective. So I can solve this. The focal length of the objective then, I just multiply it by the focal length of the objective, divide by the angular magnification, that's a little n because this is angular magnification, and that's just going to be equal to minus 25 centimeters times L divided by focal length of the eyepiece times the magnification, and we have everything, right? So I just plug this in. So it's minus 25 centimeters times, we'll do everything in centimeters, times the length, which is 25 centimeters divided by the focal length of the eyepiece, which is 2 centimeters, times the magnification, which is minus 200. All right? And then it says, oh, focal length of my eyepiece, sorry, of my objective must be 1.5625, or 1.56 centimeters to three significant digits. All right? So it's just a matter of plugging it into the equation for the magnification 
for a compound microscope. All right? Okay. Telescope. Binoculars are basically a pair of telescopes like the ones we discussed, with two converging lenses, plus a prism that uninverts the image. So in binoculars, uh, they put a little prism in there that reflects things to flip the image back around. Imagine you're a long distance from your friend who is standing next to a building which is four times taller than her. You place one eye up to your binoculars, but you would look with your other eye unaided. And the view from one eye, your friend is just a, as tall as the building as viewed by the other eye. If the objective focal length is 30 centimeters, what is the focal length of the eyepiece in your binoculars? Okay, so what are we saying? We're saying I've got these binoculars, and if I look through the binoculars, my friend looks bigger. And if I look so with one eye, I'm going to look at my friend through the binoculars. With the other eye, I'm going to look at just the building, all right? And they're the same size. So what that means is my binoculars are giving me an angular magnification of 4. So the angular magnification here is 4. Whoops. The angular magnification is 4. All right. So if I use my telescope equation, it says the angular magnification is negative the focal length of the objective divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. But now because of the binoculars we have this thing that uninverts the image and so just put a plus right there. And there I've got it. 4 is equal to the focal length of the objective over the eyepiece. So that means that the focal length of the eyepiece is going to be the focal length of the objective divided by 4, which is pretty simple because 30 centimeters divided by 4 What's 30 centimeters divided by 4? It's, uh, why am I messing up on this? Sorry, stage fright. 7.5. 7.5 centimeters. Sometimes you get in front of the camera and you can't do simple division. I apologize. And that's everything you need to know to do the homework.